Hello and welcome back to the Autoloot YouTube channel and we are back with some more Gran Turismo Sport because there is a brand new update. This is one that we have been waiting this whole month for. But we finally get a car that was promised to us in the video game back in March. It's time for the Toyota Supra racing concept. We're already on the brand central page but before we head over to the Toyota showroom, I just want to tell you that the new version 1.18 Gran Turismo Sport update also features new track layouts, new races, new championships in GD League and more improvements overall especially for the sport mode for online racing. But let's get right into what the one car that we've been waiting for. And here it is folks, the Toyota Gazoo Racing Supra Racing Concept 2018. Now the story behind the new Supra is that we haven't seen it yet. The previous generation Supra which is also in this game was a legend and an icon among sports car owners across the world especially with its iconic 2JZ engine but that was a long long time ago and the world has been waiting for its replacement or successor ever since and every time Toyota does some kind of new concept it kindles hope and then they're like oh you know this is just a concept this is not what you're gonna make but this is it this is the closest thing we have right now to what the new Supra will look like and this was shown at the Geneva Auto Show in March, Geneva Auto Show 2018, uh, full story on the blog, you can check that out, where they did preview this spec. This is in its complete racing uniform, but if you can just, just, just picture it with a lot, you know, a lot more road friendly aerodynamics, maybe not so aggressive wings and fins, I think we can see before us what the new generation Toyota Supra will look like. But the version we have right now is a race spec. It's not even a concept X, it's a group 3 spec, so you can race this in the majority of online Gran Turismo Sport events. In this complete race spec tune, JT Sport still has not disclosed any much detail regarding a displacement for the car or its dimensions. What it has said is that it makes 591 brake horsepower and has almost 700 newton meters of torque. It's definitely turbocharged. It's not going to be a naturally aspirated engine. It is a front engine rear wheel drive, so classic sports car layout. A curb weight of 1243 kilos is quite decent given the power output. It's not exactly going to be the fastest car out there, or maybe even necessarily the quickest, but it'll definitely be a true fun to drive sports car because you'll have plenty of performance without having to worry too much about losing control. This new generation Supra is being co-developed with BMW. They're using the same underpinnings for the new Z4. So a lot will be shared between Toyota and BMW, uh, including the, now the, the, the rumors, but the powertrain is going to be a BMW sourced straight six in the new Toyota Supra. Exactly what will Toyota do with that straight six is unclear, but let's expect a road performance figure of close to 500 brake horsepower. The reference point regarding the Supra, which is the FT1 concept that was unveiled in 2014, which was, you know, rumored and heralded as the design for the new Supra. The thing is, we have that car in game, and we can have a direct comparison right now, right here. So this is the racing spec of the new Supra. It's got the full aerodynamic wide body kit, lots of wings, big scoops, big arrow, and then we have the FT1. And this is the road version of the concept, which also has big scoops of big arrow, but much more tame in its design and its look. Now between these two, uh, I personally feel the FT1 was a better looking prospect. It may not fit Toyota's idea for what the new Supra should be like. And hence we have this one. We have to wait till 2019 to see the full production ready road version of the brand new Toyota Supra. Right now we're gonna take this Gazoo Racing Super Racing concept to a track and see what it's like. Alright, so we are here with the new Toyota Supra Gazoo Racing Concept race car on this world circuit, well the Suzuka World Circuit. And uh, straight away we are gonna start things off in the cockpit view. Now for the most part all these settings are stock as it comes when you purchase the car in game. Uh, only thing we have, I have traction control on at level 2, 
I'm in manual transmission and we're on racing slicks like soft compound racing tires. So let's see what this thing is. Like. from the series, the, series of, the series of corners is that while this is unlikely to be a particularly fast sports car it's definitely going to be quick uh, and the way it handles it itself is quite impressive the way it can switch from right you know the way it can shift balance from its right side to its left side going in and out of corners And yes, this is a race spec uh, Supra, so you know, I understand suspension settings, the gear shifts, all of that. But if this is our preview into what the next Supra is like, then it seems to have the sports car categories down quite well, which is quick, peppy, and excellent handling. What does worry me is that it, it is a Group 3 car, so obviously it's you know, following certain weight restrictions and uh, weight, you know, it has to match certain weight figures. But if this is a completely stripped out version and weighs you know, 12, over 200 kilos, um, I suspect the road going version will probably weigh around 1600 kilos. Uh, and then if you think about uh, six, you know, about 500 weight horsepower and 1600 kilos, again, not the figures for the quickest or the fastest sports car on the on the road today, but where Toyota will definitely deliver or is, has to deliver in that perspective is in the driving field, in the driving experience. And if this the zoo racing concept is anything to go by, what this chassis will be capable of. But what this car can do in terms of honoring abilities and just driving dynamics, I think the, the new Supra will definitely appeal to all its fans. I'm just switching to an outside view and see how this thing looks on the track. Of course, the giant uh, you know, rear wing and the overall aerodynamic kit also adds to the car's handling but then again it is still based on the road car I'm gonna like just back up a little bit and just take a look at how all those curves and designs come into play and, and how many aspects it carries the current Toyota design language while still having a hint of the original Supra with its long swooping bonnet and short rear end and how far back the cabin is from the front of the car even if you uh, you know take out of the consideration this the uh, massive front spinner on the racing concept this thing still has extends quite a way forward away from the cabin which uh, puts the driver quite close to the rear axle. It's time to cut to a cinematic replay of a quick lap in the brand new Toyota Gazoo Racing Supra race car concept 2018 around the world Suzuka circuit.
That's it for this episode. Stay tuned and subscribe for more Gran Turismo episodes and more car videos to come. We will also be testing out the Toyota FT1 2014 concept in the game very soon. So be sure to check that out. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button if you like, if you enjoyed the content, and check out the website www.autoloons.com for the latest news on from the car world and uh, Formula One and Formula E. Cheers.